Now, you should be taking this time to empower yourself, but you've got to create a schedule. I wake up around eight o'clock in the morning. Um, by the time I finish reading my goals and kind of meditating on those goals, it's about nine o'clock. The reason I read them when I wake up is because it's one of those first actions I'm gonna take. And I read them when I wake up, so it's the first action I take. So after nine o'clock, I, I go and I, I try to have breakfast with my daughter um, and uh, my wife, and then I try to put in a little bit of calisthenics if I could. And now I'll go work out because I used to work out at night when I felt that my emails weren't coming in that much and I wanted to kind of get tired. So I'll rest but I start working out now early, earlier in the day, and, and I start also scheduling time with my daughter and with my family to make sure that that is priority over anything else. And then right around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I start, you know, moving on to uh, whatever I'm doing, whether I'm doing interviews or calls or whatever the case is. And I also schedule any kind of health things I need to do, doctors, checkups, physicals, whatever the case is. What that did was... I'm more productive because the adrenaline running and I got to work and I'm 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 more active. I didn't eat the egg and cheese sandwich which slowed me down, right? And I need to chill out for a little while. I started doing my uh, spending more time with my family and because I started to say I'm going to make a major appointment, any kind of appointment I can once a month for my health. I ended up finding out I had stage two cancer mm. after reading, after starting uh, to find out all you know all these people's techniques because I looked further into my health, and I ended up finding out I had stage two cancer, and it didn't save my life necessarily because I had thyroid cancer, which would still be a, a challenge. But I had a surgery, and I got the cancer removed. I'm cancer free, and um, and it was because of me altering my life uh, with these small adjustments. Anywhere between two to four, I'll take an hour walk if I can, uh, you know, uh, and um, and then I'll go back to work from five to six or seven. I work all the way until six, seven. I do a long walk with my wife. Then I'll have dinner with my daughter or my, my, my child or out here with my friends and them. And then I come home and I eat dinner and then I play Monopoly digitally online with friends because I still have to negotiate and crush people as much as I can. Then I'll watch some, some form of news uh, between eight to nine, put my daughter to bed at 9.30. Uh, work out for a little while around 10 to 11, do some weight training around that time so I get exhausted and then answer a couple more emails from 11 to 12 to 12.30 and then go back and read my goals from 12.30 to 1.30. The reason I read them before I go to bed is because science has proven that over 70% of the things you think about when you go to sleep is either something you fear or something you hope will happen. That's my schedule and I can't find enough hours in my schedule but I set the time to do it and, and this is more about what I've done in Rise and Grind. They have to set goals and they have to set a daily schedule. I mean, I'm telling you the most important part of that is to do it because when you're home, a body not in motion stays not in motion and you'll, yeah. you'll get even lazier. What's up? Now, this is Sharp Damon John here. And if you're already here, I already know you're dedicated to bettering yourself and learning as much as you can. To learn even more, subscribe to my channel and make sure that you don't miss any of these valuable videos. And I will see you next time.